everyone! Today we'll be reviewing Nagamoto's Flag of Vishland. The review will be done using the five basic principles of flag design as outlined in the book Good Flag, Bad Flag, written by Ted Kay and published by the North American Vexillological Association. Here is a quick rundown of the five principles. We will review the flag under each principle and give a score out of 10 for each. At the end, we will calculate the average score of the five principles, which will give us the overall final score for the flag. Let's begin. The flag consists of a diagonal bicolor of white and red, which is bisected with a blue stripe running from the lower hoist to upper fly. This is a simple design and the flag is easy to draw from memory. For this principle, the flag scores 10 out of 10. The name of the flag is Inhoragide, and the origin of the flag comes from the Potent Hand story. Red symbolizes the blood of the Potent Hand people who were cursed and died because of their arrogance. The blue color represents the responsibility, dignity, humility, togetherness, and religiousness that the Potent Hand people must obey. Because of those who ask the Almighty to be freed from the curse, white represents the freedom that the Almighty has given to the potent hand people. The blue color in the middle illustrates that all bad things must be eliminated with a humanitarian attitude. The red color below illustrates that inhumanity must be covered with humanitarian attitudes. And the white color above illustrates that by covering up a sense of inhumanity with humanity, humans will achieve special freedom from the Almighty. Overall, this is very good symbolism. For this principle, the flag gets 10 out of 10. The flag has three colors. Those are white, blue, and red. All three colors are part of the standard set. With contrast, we have an issue with the blue and red. Overall for color, the flag scores 8.5 out of 10. The flag has no lettering, seals, or coat of arms. For this principle, the flag gets 10 out of 10. The flag is distinctive among sovereign national flags. It probably mostly closely resembles the flag of Russia, but with its diagonal layout, we think the flag is easy to distinguish from the Russian horizontal tricolor. For this principle, the flag scores 10 out of 10. So now we review the flag on each of the five principles. We're going to add the scores and divide by five to get the average. So for Nagamoto's flag of Vishland, we get a final score of 9.7 out of 10.